Hi, I'm Sherry, and this is Gardening in the North. And today I want to walk you through the steps that I'm going to be taking to start growing turmeric. Now, back in the fall of 2020, I was approached by a viewer who is a fellow Canadian, and his name is Adam. And he inquired on whether or not I'd ever grown this before. And when I told him that it was on my to grow list, he kindly offered to walk me through the steps that he uses and that he's been using for the past four years. Of course, I accepted right away and started doing my research. So throughout this video, you're going to see really cool facts that I found. I'm just gonna plug them in along the bottom, the top, the side, wherever it might be. As well, I have Adam's permission to also plug in his pictures. Pictures that he's taken from start to finish because there are always going to be people out there that don't necessarily like the taste of turmeric, but they think that the plant itself is beautiful. Now, keeping in mind that you can also eat the flowers once you grow the plant. You can actually cut those flowers off and throw them in your salad. The very first step in starting to plant your turmeric is figuring out when you should be planting it. So take a look. When do you plant turmeric? That's the big question here. But it's all determined on where you live and what growing zone you're in. The first way to figure, or the first thing that you need to do in order to figure that out is to figure out what your last frost date is. And for the purposes of this exercise, we're going to use my growing zone, which is 5B. Now, my last frost date is October 1st. The second thing that you need to do is you need to start counting backwards throughout the months of the year from that last frost date in order to figure out which month or months you should be planting your turmeric. Now turmeric needs seven to 10 months to grow. So keep this in mind when we're filling out the months of the year. So we're gonna start with October and we're going to work our way across the sheet from right to left, putting in all of the months of the year. The next thing we're going to do is draw a line above them and start adding in the numbers in order to make it easier for us to count. We're not going to start on October because October 1st isn't going to be a full month. So we can't count that as one of our months. Now we know that turmeric needs seven to 10 months to grow. So now that we have our numbers, we know that we should start planting turmeric in December, January, or February. If we plant our turmeric in these three months, we will ensure that the turmeric has enough time to grow. Now that you know how to figure out when you should be starting your turmeric, now you need to figure out where you're going to purchase it from. I purchased these rhizomes from my local metro, and I know that most grocery stores carry them. If not, you can also get them at your local health food stores. So some of the supplies you're going to need. You're going to need a container that has some kind of a lid. I just got this at the dollar store. Um, I think I bought it last year and I used salad in it when I went to somebody's house. Uh, you're gonna need some paper towels. You're going to need a spray bottle and you're going to need a heat mat. So for anyone out there that already germinates seeds, you probably have everything you need. 
So let's get started. First thing I'm going to do is really wet this paper towel. Now, I don't want it to be so wet that it's dripping out water. I want it to be fairly moist. So I'm just going to give it a good coating. And I'm just going to flip it over and get the other side. And I say that because I have two pieces in here. So I just wanted, wanted it to be, wanted to make sure it was good and wet. Okay. All right. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to lay all of the pieces of ginger that I have in the container on the wet paper towel. Okay, so I have seven pieces in here. Okay, so I'm just going to show you. You can kind of see if I push this down, you can kind of see through. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do is put this on top of a heating mat and I should start to see some growth probably within a week to two weeks, at which time I will remove them from this and plant them in soil. Now, one tip to remember is that your heating mat should stay on the entire time and you should be checking to make sure that your paper towel isn't drying out. It should always be moist. It's been roughly two weeks since uh, I last videoed for this particular video on turmeric. And since then, we got a little puppers. So I'm just gonna give him a little bit of a treat. So he sits good. So my daughter's upstairs having a shower. I said I would look after him while she got ready and thought that he could help me do the video. So the next step in starting your turmeric is actually planting it in soil. A couple things I learned over the past couple weeks are that turmeric actually takes forever to grow. And I did a bit more research because I thought that it should have started to sprout a little bit quicker than it was. And what I found was that it needs to have the air, the environment in which it's growing to be roughly 75 to 80 degrees. Now, when I looked at the thermometer in my little greenhouse that I have in my grow room, it was about 72. And so that attributes to the slow growth of my turmeric root. Having said that, it has been about two and a half weeks and it is ready to be planted. So as soon as you see any growth coming out of your root, and so this would be a really good example here, you can just see that there's a little bit of growth there, you can actually plant that in soil. So let's take a couple minutes to talk about the soil that you want to use. Now, when you are sowing seeds and you need those seeds to germinate, you can use seed starter mix because the seed doesn't actually need anything from that soil. Everything the seed needs, the seed will provide it until it germinates, until you start to see that seedling. And then when it's big enough, you would transplant it into a potting soil with some other fertilizers that will give that seedling what it needs. In terms of turmeric, you want to plant that in a nice fluffy soil so that it has the ability to grow. But you also want to make sure that that soil has some nutrients in it. So I'm going to be doing a bit of a combination of using a seed starter mix, some uh, worm castings, a little bit of um, potting soil that I have, and I'm probably going to throw a little bit extra uh, perlite into it just to make sure that all the soil is, um, I'm going to use the word fluffy or um, uh, aerated. You want to make sure that it's aerated enough that those roots can grow and get the water that they need. The other thing that I learned over the past couple weeks is that the paper towel that the turmeric was sitting on 
really needed to be moistened every day. So I just want to put that out there that if you moisten it, throw your roots on top of it and then walk away for a couple days, that paper towel is going to dry out and your turmeric isn't going to get the water that it needs. So what I was doing every day was coming down here to my grow room and I was actually pouring water into my container. So I would just take a bottle of water and do a strip down the middle of the pieces of turmeric and then I would tip my container a bit so that the whole paper towel got wet. I then put it back onto the heat mat and walk away to the next day. That seemed to really work. So let's talk about containers. I have two sizes of containers that I'm using today and I'm going to call them my intermediate containers because these are not the forever containers for this this tomb rack. So I have these bigger containers that I got at the dollar store and I have a couple smaller ones that are about five inches tall. Now, when you're picking your intermediate container, you want to make sure that you can put a good three inches of I'm going to say three to five inches of soil in your container with a two inch headspace. And the reason you want that two inch headspace is you are going to be putting your root on top of that soil and then covering it with two inches of soil. Now, when I say that these are the intermediate containers, the reason for that is these containers are going to be going back into my little mini greenhouse on top of my heat mats and Currently, I have a lot in there, so I can't put these into a bigger pot because I just don't have the space for it. Now, once I see roughly six to eight inches of growth, I will then pot these up into a more long-term container. Now, turmeric really does like a very deep container, so I will be potting these up into something that is about 18 to 24 inches deep so that it gives it exactly what it needs. Now, I'm not going to be planting these into the ground or into a raised bed once the weather is really nice. I'm actually going to take the pots that I plant these into or pot them up into, and I'm going to move them out onto my deck. The reason for that is I want to be able to have that ability if I know that it's going to be a colder night to bring them in because as I've mentioned these are a tropical plant and I don't want them to be um, in the elements where you know all my hard work is for naught. The other thing about these plants is that they don't need to be in the sun all day their leaves are actually very thin and delicate and you don't want the sun burning them. So I want that ability as well that when they're on my deck, if I think that they've had enough sun to move them into a shadier spot. And if I plant them into the ground or into a raised bed, I'm not going to have that opportunity or uh, that option of moving them. So let's get planting. I am going to fill these containers up. I'm going to then place my turmeric root on top, put another two inches on, give it some water and throw them back into my greenhouse. is a long-term investment, but it is so worth it. Out of the eight turmeric pieces that I had, six of them sprouted and I have planted them all into these containers. I'm gonna get these back into the greenhouse on the heat mats and just wait for them to start growing. If you haven't tried growing turmeric, I suggest that you give it a try. It is so easy. I know that that seven to 10 month, you know, time frame is pretty scary when you think about investing your time into it. But in terms of actual time and effort that I've put into growing these, it's been so minimal. Give it a try. Leave me, leave me some comments below. To let me know if you've tried it already or if you're going to try it. Thanks for spending time with me.